are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, guys, we're going to be talking about primetime Deion Sanders here in this video. The new Colorado coach means business. Now, Deion Sanders has been catching a bit of heat for leaving Jackson State because it's an HBCU. I truly believe if Jackson State was not an HBCU, there would be no criticism whatsoever of Deion Sanders. However, he is the new sheriff in town at Colorado. The man means business. He had a brutal meeting with the existing players on that team the other day. And I believe, folks, that quite a few of them will not be on that team come next season. Deion Sanders wants to win games. And for the better part of 20 years, Colorado has been a dumpster fire. The team is coming off a uh, 1-11 season. And Deion Sanders does not like to lose. He's going to have to win games because, remember, this is still a business at the end of the day. If Deion Sanders does not win games, he does not keep his job. He doesn't keep his coaching career. So he's going to have to make some tough choices here when it comes to who's actually going to be on the roster. Now, since he got there, there was already scholarship offers given to high school students. And those students actually said, hey, I'm going to Colorado. That means nothing to primetime Deion Sanders as uh, one high school player is now learning the hard way. He's not going to Colorado. Here we go. Colorado recruit says new staff not honoring his commitment. Yeah, Deion Sanders has told his guy to kick rocks. We're not honoring your scholarship. It says here when Deion Sanders arrived on scene at Colorado, his first order of business was to deliver a ruthless message to his players. He pulled no punches and advised them to enter the transfer portal. It ain't going to be no more of a mess that these wonderful fans, the student body, and some of your parents have put up with for probably two decades now, Sandra said. I'm coming. And when I get here, it's going to be change. So I want y'all to get ready. Go ahead and jump in that portal and do whatever you got to do, because the more you that jump in, jump in, uh, the more room you make. Sanders' uh, harsh approach wasn't limited in scope. In addition to the players already in-house, Dion had a few bits of bad news for the, for the uh, team's commits. Edge rusher Carson Mott, a three-star recruit from Simi Valley, California, revealed on Tuesday that Sanders pulled his scholarship offer. And this the tweet that he uh, put out here. Uh, just spoke to the new Colorado staff. And was informed they would not be honoring my commitment. I'm officially reopening my recruitment. Wow. Uh, Mott had previously uh, made his commitment to Colorado on June 13th. He was heavily recruited at the time and had offers from Fresno State, uh, Nevada, UNLV, and a handful of other schools. The six foot five Mott should have little trouble finding another offer, but having his scholarship pulled is further proof that Sanders is going to do the things his way, whether feelings are hurt or not. Yep. Deion Sanders not playing. He is not playing. This is why he was an all time great NFL player. He wants to win. And I remember, folks, in the mid 1990s, Deion Sanders was really the major reason why the 49ers won in 1994 and the Cowboys won in 1995. After Jerry Jones saw what San Francisco did to them in that NFC championship game, he immediately went, oh, no, no, we cannot have this. He went out there and got Deion Sanders. And he was the major reason why the Cowboys won that third Super Bowl. But what do you guys think of this? What do you guys make of uh, Deion Sanders pulling a scholarship offer from a recruit? This is not surprising, guys. He means business. He actually went hardcore when he was over there at uh, Jackson State. This is who Deion Sanders is. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. 
be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.